Are you a small business owner? Here is advice for you. This is my best advice for small business owners. I'm gonna go through four things that you as a small business owner should be doing in order to escape your business and start living free. Who am I? I'm Alex Berman, I'm the founder of X27. I also run a software company. I run a digital services business. I'm a YouTuber here. We've generated over $10 million in revenue for our clients. And so you might consider me a little bit of a small business owner. What's cool also is I'm free. I'm working on my own schedule. I'm not working 80 hours a week, right? I'm pretty free. I'm working as much or as little as I want. It's pretty cool. We've got a whole team going and it's very possible for most business owners to do that. And that's what I want to cover in this video. Four things that you as a small business owner can do to start the process of escaping the trap that is most small businesses. First, let's start with what happens in most small businesses. You start a business because you either want to make money or you're good at something. Then customers are paying you for this thing. Then you start working on the delivery of that thing. Then you end up doing the work on that thing, putting a lot of your time in, and eventually you're only working on this thing, putting all your time into delivery instead of into sales. And what that leads to is you as a small business owner have now, instead of getting the freedom business that you wanted, you're ending up with a business that is more like a job. This video is brought to you by mailrush.io. If you need to send cold emails or if your current provider isn't allowing you to send cold emails, you must get an account with mailrush.io. With mailrush.io, you can send bulk emailing campaigns on autopilot while avoiding blacklisting problems. Improve your sending reputation with a dedicated IP. And if you sign up with the offer below, they'll include a free customized IP warm-up schedule with your dedicated IP account. And you can get 30% off the first month by using the promo code cold email. In addition to that, you can also open a free trial account with a sending credit of 1000 emails. Check it out, mailrush.io, promo code cold email. Now you have to show up at the office every day and do a certain number of tasks and you're not free, and you might even be working more than you were at a corporate job. And that sucks, nobody wants that. You become an entrepreneur because you want freedom, you wanna live your passion, you wanna do things that excite you. So let's cut all that out. Here's the four step process. Number one, figure out how you make money. Where does the money actually come from in your business? And that doesn't mean, let's say you sell widgets, the way you make money is not selling widgets. The way you make money is we call vendors and those vendors give us money for widgets. Or we go to trade shows and sell our widgets to customers at trade shows. How you make money is not the product itself. How you make money is literally how you make money. How do you get to the customers that pay you cash? For us, we make money through cold email, which is our number one source, and these YouTube videos, which is our number two source. So if I was a small business owner and I wanted to focus only on what makes the most money, I would be making more of these YouTube videos and sending more cold emails. That's that. So number one, figure out how you actually make money. How does the cash leave the customer's hands and come to you? Number two, scale that hard. If you find out you make most of your money from trade shows and you're doing one trade show a month, do 10 this month, do 15 this month. Scale the crap out of the way you make money and run that yourself at the start. Then number three, once you have figured out how you make money and you're scaling it up, you're doing more of these things that make you the money, you remove yourself from everything that doesn't make money directly. That means if you're a consultant and you're doing small business coaching, but you find out that the money is being made from cold email, now instead of spending 40 hours a week actually talking to clients, you move those 40 hours to work on new business and generating revenue instead and hire somebody to be the business coach for you. That is the first step to escaping. You've heard that it's important to test your subject lines to have at least an 80% open rate. And we've been able to achieve that pretty consistently for our clients selling to billion dollar brands. The hardest part was coming up with the subject lines, but lucky for you, we put together 50 cold email subject lines for you to test at email10k.com slash subject. I remember when I first decided to cut my hours incredibly, the thing that was taking up most of my time was consulting calls. People were paying me up to $1,000 an hour to consult on their cold emails. What we did instead is now Robert Indresh, my co-founder handles the consulting calls. We charge a couple hundred bucks an hour instead, and he is able to take these calls and be just as good, if not better than I was. And our customers are getting more value from it because it's cheaper and we're all winning here. And I don't spend any time on it. 
more importantly, so I can focus on new business stuff. Then what you wanna do is once you've removed yourself from everything else so that you can focus on the thing that makes money for your business, you work on that thing. Only work on making money for your business until your revenue is high enough. Then number four, you remove yourself from that money-making thing. Hire a salesperson to take over that aspect of your business that makes money, and now you're doing nothing. You're not working on the product, you're not working on the marketing, and you're not working on the sales. You are now a business owner. You're free, you're the new rich, right? You're doing nothing. You're doing whatever you want all day and working on the systems of the business instead of working in the business. So that's the four-step plan to escape your small business and increase your revenue while at the same time buying your time back. And that best advice for small businesses, again, is figure out how you make money, scale that hard, remove yourself from everything that doesn't make money, then remove yourself from the money making. Do those and start living the life you want. Do you have any questions on what we just talked about? Feel free to leave a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. We do videos three times a week all about sales, marketing, how to be a better business owner, etc. Like this video to encourage this type of content on YouTube. And if you want business coaching from us, check out 220coaching.com.